Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this February 1st. First day of February, second month of the year. We're already here. Woo. We're a month away from March. <laughs> just amazing to me how fast time goes. Just really incredible. But uh, we're going to start February the same way we ended January, on the mild side. Maybe not as warm as yesterday when we reached a high of 61 officially at the Bowling Green Airport. That happened a little bit after 3 p.m. That was 15 degrees above the average of 46. And then we had a low of 41, which is 14 degrees warmer than the average of 27. A year ago, we had a warm high of 72 and a low of 54 back in 2016. And we ended the month with no precipitation uh, as far as yesterday, but the total for January is at 4.16, and that ended up being 5,500, so a little bit over a half inch above the average for January. So we're looking good as far as precipitation. As long as we maintain this pace, we should be fine. Today, even though it's going to be cloudy, we're not going to see any precipitation from that, just mostly cloudy, as uh, a lot of clouds like yesterday are in the upper flow. At the surface, though, we're pretty dry, so we won't see any rain or anything else. And it's going to be mild. We'll see a high at 55 with a northeast wind at 7. Partly cloudy, chilly tonight with a low of 30. For Tuesday, which is Groundhog Day, we'll see a mostly sunny but colder 45. But I say colder, but 45 is really around where we should be for a high temperature this time of the year. Remember, the average high is 46, and I'm calling for 45 tomorrow, so really? <laughs> It's about exactly where we should be for this time of the year. Crazy, I know. It's just been so warm. By the way, Shane last night left me a statistic that you'll want to know. The month of January was the seventh warmest January on record for Bowling Green. Seventh. Wow. Friday, even chillier. Mostly cloudy, around 40. Saturday will start to warm eh, maybe into the mid-40s as uh, a warm front approaches. By Saturday night, we're still looking at an 80% chance of rain, primarily rain, although we can't rule out the possibility of a little light mix, especially north of Bowling Green, as we get down to 35. But temperatures will be rising as we get into uh, Saturday overnight. And Sunday, we're looking for a 50% chance of showers and a high at 53 as the system comes up out of the Gulf of Mexico and moves our direction. And then, even warmer, a big-time warm-up and a more potent storm system gets organized in the Central Plains by Monday and Tuesday of next week. We're going to see a 40% chance of showers Monday with a high of 60 and then Tuesday, we're now calling for a 60% chance of showers and now thunderstorms. With a high of 66 and gusty winds, we have a very potent system that's coming through next Wednesday, a week from today. Uh, that one looks to really cool us down afterwards, and if there's enough moisture left over, then we might be looking at something. But my concern right now is that by next Tuesday into Wednesday, we also could be looking at, if not for us, around us, the threat of severe weather, because this is going to be uh, a very wound-up system. It has a lot of uh, potential energy, and uh, we could be, because temperatures will be getting close to 70 degrees again, uh, then we could be looking at thunderstorms and maybe some strong to severe storms. So we're going to keep an eye on that system coming in for... Uh, late Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. 
In the meantime, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later today, if you can, join me for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.